There are countless sects here, and the imperial court stands horizontally, various imperial hegemons emerge one after another, Du Yun traveled through time and became the crown prince of Northern Liang. As soon as he appeared, he had to face these assassinations against himself, fortunately, the check that IN system is enabled. Sign in successful. Received. Beehive organization. Sign in successful. Received. Quicksand organization. Successful check that I N. Received. 1000000 Snow Tiger and Leopard Riders. Looking at the vast land in front of him, Du Yun slowly lifted his palm and made a fist clenching gesture, I want everything in this world. Keywords of the novel Prince of Northern Liang. Sign in at the beginning with 3000 shadow assassins without a pop dot up window. Prince of Northern Liang. Sign in at the beginning with 3000 shadow assassins. Download the complete text. Prince of Northern Liang. Sign in at the beginning with 3000 shadow assassins. Latest chapter reading. Chapter 1. Prince of Northern Liang. You are listening at novel full dot audio. Chapter 1 Prince of Northern Liang, Your Highness, what are you thinking about? Can you inform Qingyao? At this moment, in a beautiful and lush mountain forest, a decorated carriage is slowly moving forward. Surrounded by dozens of solemn and ready sword guards, they were constantly vigilant and dared not slack off. Even without any doubt, if some aggressive and threatening birds and beasts approach, they will mercilessly slash and kill them. All of these arrangements and battles are enough to indirectly reflect the valuable identity of the person in the carriage, and his safety must not be at all wrong. The Crown Prince In the carriage, as a cold-faced and capable maid and guard dressed in green and black plain clothes, Qingyao, with a hint of surprise, looked at the young man gazing at the scenery outside the window. Her slender and jade-like fingers were gently caressing her hair in front of her forehead. Her eyes slightly turned and the corner of her mouth smiled slightly, I think it's been a long time since I've been back, and the scenery in Baoliang seems unfamiliar to me. Speaking of which, Qingyao became more and more interested, if the crown prince needs it, I can accompany him on a good tour of Baoliang nearby. The crown prince may not know, but now that you have chosen to return to your hometown, the prince's heart can be said to be very happy because he feels that someone has finally taken over the throne and there is no worry in the future. Oh! You're thrilled! At this moment, this noble young man known as the crown prince, named Du Yun, is the legitimate son of the Northern Liang king, who is a feudal lord and holds hundreds of thousands of elite Northern Liang troops. Upon hearing the profound gaze of Du Yun, he leaned out the window, perhaps. Qingyao still talks confidently, Crown Prince, before you know it, you have already left the decades of time. Both the Prince and your former servants miss you very much. It's been ten years now. Upon hearing this, Du Yun's mind couldn't help but conjure up various experiences from the past in a foreign land, in fact, a few months ago, Du Yun had just crossed over to this esteemed Crown Prince of Baoliang. He thought that having immense wealth and power was the beginning of the Tianhu era, but when he understood the current situation and what his identity meant, Du Yun's mood was shrouded in a layer of gloom. Even if it means leaving Baoliang for a full ten years, it already implies a lot of insider information. Ah! Uh. Seeing Du Yun's complex and guilty appearance, Qingyao was a bit dumbfounded, unsure if her words and actions were inappropriate. Crown Prince did I make a mistake under my command? No, it's none of your business. Du Yun sighed faintly, now he knew his past and future, as well as his fate and fate. I'm afraid the wind and rain are coming today. What? Du Yun's inexplicable and strange words surprised Qingyao a bit, however, after looking at Du Yun's face, Gu Jing Wubua, Qingyao suddenly widened her pupils and realized something. She arched her hand and said in a deep voice, No matter what, I will not disappoint the prince's order and do my best to protect the crown prince's safety. Du Yun remained silent, the great Qian dynasty, the king of northern Liang. As a king of different surnames or a powerful figure, 
the power of the northern Yang king is simply overwhelming, intimidating the temples and villages. Inevitably, they will be subject to the fear and suspicion of the imperial family of the Dechien dynasty, making them feel a threat to imperial power. The only legitimate son under the command of the prince of northern Liang who could perfectly inherit the throne was De Guyun. Ten years ago, the prince of northern Liang sent him away from northern Liang city to protect him. But at present, the only thing that Du Guyun is clear about is that the king of northern Liang is currently in poor health, and there may be unforeseen circumstances. Otherwise, the huge northern Liang power will be leaderless and even out of control. If this extreme situation really occurs, the world will be in chaos. Without a doubt, this is not the situation that the civil and military officials of the Dechien imperial family, as well as the thousands of people, hope to see. They will not allow the second northern Yang king to appear, so they will never let Du Guyun return so smoothly, or even inherit the throne. End of this chapter Chapter 2 A Deadly Situation you are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 2 A Deadly Situation Du Guyun remained silent, the green bird beside, pondering for a while, didn't know what to say anymore, the carriage walked slowly, with a calm and peaceful journey, getting closer and closer to Baeliang City, Crown Prince, once you cross this mountain, you will be the territory of Baeliang City. Speaking, Qingyao's tone also relaxed a lot, no assassin dares to show off their power in the northern Liang city. Speaking of this, Qingyao's tone was somewhat relaxed and proud, which was the pride of everyone in Baoyangqing. This time, the prince specially arranged more than ten carriages from different positions to set off towards Baoyangqing. Even if someone wanted to harm the crown prince, they would definitely not be able to discover his current position. After all, he is his own son. How could the king of northern Liang not have carefully arranged it? I hope so. Du Guyun didn't feel at ease because of this. He had just arrived in this world, and if he died so easily, wouldn't it be very embarrassing for the traveler? The rumored golden finger of the traverse is not a standard accessory for the traverse. I sighed inwardly, why do other travelers have the presence of golden fingers, but I have nothing? Although my status is very prestigious, the same identity will put me in danger and have no place to bury myself. Crown Prince With a respectful gaze, he glanced at Du Guyun, who was getting closer to Qingyao in Baoyang City. He felt much more at ease and said, Don't worry. Absolutely. It will definitely be safe and sound. Qingyao was just about to comfort her, but the next second, Shua. 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 The dense sound of arrows suddenly burst out like a gust of wind and rain, causing the words of Qingyao to come to an abrupt end. In the next second, the entire carriage was riddled with countless arrows, leaving it in a state of disrepair. Boom! The carriage exploded with a loud roar, and the blue bird guarding Du Guyun's side kept operating its internal strength. Prince, hurry up! Without much time to think, Qingya wanted to quickly take Du Guyun out of his shell. In such a crisis, Du Guyun naturally wouldn't show off anything. His martial art strength is really worrying now, and if he dies, he will really die without any chance to turn things around. Protect the Crown Prince With an burst of internal power, Qingya directly scattered the arrows that followed, indicating that Qingyao's own strength was also extremely extraordinary. Otherwise, it would be impossible to gain the trust of the northern Yang king and become Du Guyun's personal inner guard. Shua. 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 Originally, the guards around the carriage were mostly extraordinary people. They quickly prepared for a defensive and counterattack posture, while closely observing the enemy situation around them. For a while, this rain of arrows did not pose any threat. Crown Prince. Going is the best policy, let's go back to Baoyang City first. Mmm. Now we must evacuate decisively. As long as we return to the Northern Yang realm, we will at least have no worries about our lives. As for those guards, they will naturally stay behind and do their best to give Du Guyun the crucial time to escape. 
This is a true and cruel world, full of dangers and dangers. Many times, in such a world, human life is like grass, and in the eyes of some great powers, all beings are nothing but dogs. During this month of traveling to this world, Du Yun had already understood this truth in his heart, Crown Prince, as long as you return to Baoyang City, there will definitely be nothing wrong. Running away with Du Yun, Ching Yao was still comforting, but Du Yun furrowed his brow. Since the enemy dared to come and assassinate in such a big battle, the means would not be so simple. Today may be more or less unlucky. Death The blood-red sword aura suddenly fell from mid-air, and Ching Yao didn't have time to think much. He quickly retreated with Du Yun, Peng. The ground shattered, and a large pit of about ten meters was blasted out of the entire ground. Diamond Realm Seeing the power of the sword energy, Ching Yao's eyes shrank, realizing that the strength of the newcomers was actually that of the warriors from the Diamond Realm. My own strength refers to the Xian Chu level. If there was only one warrior from the Diamond Realm, Ching Yao might still be able to deal with it easily. However, whoosh! 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 Several figures flashed by in a row, surrounding Ching Yao and Du Yun, all ten of them, and their breath was the same, all reaching the level of a warrior from the Diamond Realm, you are the Night Zong sect. Seeing these people, Ching Yao suddenly remembered their identities. Du Yun, who was guarded by Ching Yao behind him, also frowned and looked solemnly at these ten figures, Du Yun has heard of the Night Zong sect, which was once listed as one of the three major demon cult organizations in the chaotic times of the past for hundreds of years. It is a famous assassin organization in the martial arts world, and every branch of the Night Zong sect has the infamous twelve evil ones of the Night Zong. If someone can afford to pay a price, they dare to do any outrageous act. But later, at the end of the chaotic era, the main altar and countless sub-altars of the Zong sect were dispatched by the King of Northern Liang to join forces with the Imperial Guards to annihilate them, and thus disappeared from the martial arts world. However, later on, there were still some remnants of the fish that escaped the net, becoming the only remaining twelve evil spirits of the Night Zong. It is said that after years of cultivation, their strength has all reached the level of warriors in the Diamond Realm, and with the help of twelve people, they can even shake the existence of Master Zhishuan. Yu Jiang who assassins dare to plot against the son of the Prince of Northern Liang. Aren't you afraid of the Prince's anger? Throughout the world, the King of Baoyang, who had a large army of 400,000, was also a renowned presence. The words of Qingyao made Yi Zhang's twelve demons laugh coldly even after a glance at each other. Not to mention taking people's money and eliminating disasters with others, let alone the fact that the downfall of our sect's main altar was bestowed upon us by the Northern Young King. This is the great belief that supports our continuous improvement and cultivation of strength. Now that someone has united us, then this heinous revenge must be avenged. Don't be afraid of risking the world's misconduct. Although we cannot threaten the King of Baoyang, we can let him suffer the loss of his beloved son, leaving no successors in Baoyang and falling into a state of decline, in order to vent our great hatred. Now the great revenge has barely been avenged, and he has also received an extremely generous reward. I'm sorry that the remaining life of the Northern Liang King is also very short. At that time, we will live in seclusion and no longer appear in the world with the vast sea and fish jumping. Under the world, we are left to roam freely. The Northern Liang King may be powerless to seek revenge, uh. The power of the King of Northern Liang is great, but it is only a corner of the peaceful region. Jiang Nan, Bashu, Jingxiang, and the Central Plains cannot easily gain control of the entire vast world. Your Highness the Crown Prince. At this moment, among the twelve evil spirits of Yizang, a person's gaze was mockingly fixed on Du Yun, who was guarded by the blue bird behind him, and he spoke in a mocking tone, blame it. You can only blame your background. Reincarnation is so superior, but you also have to bear the corresponding cost and risk. As long as there are enough chips, even members of the De Qian royal family dare to rob and kill the twelve evil men of Night Zong, let alone the now bloodthirsty prince of Baoyang. Is that so? 
Duga Yun understood now, it seems that the imperial family of the great Qian dynasty, in order to wipe me out, even spared no effort in uniting with the possible twelve evil ones of the Night Song to raise tigers as a threat. It seems that I underestimated their determination. Since he died as an assassin in the martial arts world, even if the king of Northern Liang were to investigate with great anger, it would only be clear that it was the actions of his former enemies, and it is absolutely impossible to involve the De Qian royal family. Moreover, some of the remaining sin strength was too low to worry about, which allowed you to fish into the sea and escape from the mortal realm. However, you never expected that your realm could break through to this level in just a few decades. It is expected that the De Qian royal family deliberately left a hand behind to cultivate you in secret for occasional needs, right? Hee <laughs> hee, what kind of grandiose revenge plan are you talking about? I once knew some insider information. You are just people who are driven by greed, rebelling for your own survival, colluding with the De Qian royal family to sell intelligence from the main altar, and cooperating with others. This led to the downfall of the Yizong sect. Now, it is only for the sake of remuneration that you have such a sharp and bloody act. The crown prince is actually clever. I don't know if he had no intention of concealing it, or if he was absolutely confident. Dugu Yun must have died today without a place to bury himself. On the contrary, Yi Zhang's twelve devils openly admitted it, since the crown prince has already guessed, I believe you must have died in peace. At least you know why you died. Late brings about change, and the twelve evil spirits of the Night Zong act decisively. Now this place is just a stone's throw away from Baoyang City. If any experts in Baoyang City notice something is wrong, it will be extremely difficult for them to achieve the assassination target of the Night Zong Twelve Demons. They have no intention of delaying it. Hands on. Crown Prince, you go first. Even in the face of the twelve demons of the Night Zong, as a guard, Ching Yao had no intention of retreating. Instead, she thought that even if she sacrificed her life and forgot her life, she would buy time for Dugu Yun to escape. Crown Prince. I'll hold them back, you quickly run away, don't hesitate, don't be a woman. Seeking death. The twelve evil spirits of Yi Zong naturally won't stay behind, uh -huh. Two fists are difficult to defeat four hands, let alone ten warriors from the Diamond Realm with the same level of strength as himself. However, Dugu Yun stood still with both hands on his back and an indifferent expression on his face, without any intention of leaving. Because it's not necessary at all, this is a dead-end situation. End of this chapter Chapter 3 Check-in Top Assassin Organization you are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 3 Check In. Top Assassin Organization, Are You Going to Die? Although Qing Yao still struggled to support herself, facing the twelve demons of the Night Zong, Qing Yao's defeat was only a matter of time, I have no cultivation and cannot escape the pursuit of ten warriors from the Diamond Realm. Is there no way for me to crack this hell at the beginning? Not willing to accept it. Check in system. Binding in progress. Just as Dugu Yun's gaze was lost, a mechanized voice suddenly came out of Dugu Yun's mind, hmm. When hearing this mechanical sound, Dugu Yun was stunned for a moment, the system. Does the host have a chance to sign in as a beginner? Use. There is no unnecessary nonsense, this is my only hope for breaking through the situation at present, and I must seize it in a timely manner. Successful check that I end. Obtained. Trap Organization. Trap Organization will unconditionally be absolutely loyal to the host, without any past life consciousness, and will exist as a pure killing tool for the host. Pang. Meanwhile, Ching Yao, who was already somewhat weak, was suddenly kicked out and landed heavily on the side of Du Yun. Crown Prince. Struggling to stand up again, Ching Yao said with difficulty, Why haven't you left? Crown Prince. My existence is to deal with today's crisis. Don't let me wait for you, Crown Prince. Dugu Yun remained silent. At this moment, the twelve evil spirits of Yi Zong had already surrounded them, 
I think His Highness the Crown Prince has already accepted his fate with ease. This way, there's no need to struggle to the death, it's actually easier. Qingyao gritted his teeth and was about to stand up and continue the bloody battle, but at that moment, Du Guiyun suddenly raised his hand and placed it on Qingyao's shoulder. Crown Prince Under the puzzled gaze of Qingyao, Du Guiyun looked calmly at the twelve demons of Yizong in front of him, the world is uncertain, how could this crown prince end up so hastily? Hmm. The twelve demons of Yizong frowned slightly, and for some reason, seeing Du Guiyun's expression, words, and actions, he felt a little uneasy in his heart. Not good. Quick and decisive. If delayed, there will be a change. They are immediately ready to fight with all their might and go. And just as Yi Zhang's twelve devils were preparing to take action, a solemn and stern voice suddenly echoed through the entire mountains and forests, what a little rascal. I don't know what it means. Those who dare to offend His Highness. Kill. Line up. For a moment, both the close guards such as Qing Yao and the twelve demons of Yi Zhang were intimidated by this extremely unexpected scene, and then, Shua. 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 The originally peaceful mountains and forests rustled, and figures quickly arrived, densely packed as if unable to see the end. Du Gu Yun and Yi Zhang's twelve demons were surrounded by water and water, and these countless trap killers combined into an orderly formation. Dot. Yi Zhang twelve Sha was stunned, looking at these, it seemed like a sudden appearance, surrounded by the existence of the Rakshasa evil ghost mask dressed in refined steel armor, one by one bewildered on the spot. The fierce and ruthless demeanor is enough to demonstrate that every trap killer here has extraordinary strength and can definitely exist with the elite of one enemy and one hundred enemies. Ladies and gentlemen, I have harbored twelve evil spirits at night. Have I ever offended you all? Why meddle in your affairs? Unfortunately, the question of the Night Zong assassin, who was the leader, was not answered in a single word. Countless trapped assassins had a terrifying aura, like a prison in the abyss, silent like the abyss of the Black Sea, an endless hell. Like black clouds pressing down on the city, ready to destroy it. Looking at this posture, it seems that with just one command, they will immediately flock forward to fight to the death. You guys. Anyway, they harbor twelve evil spirits at night, and they are also well dot known in the martial arts world. Behind them is the existence of the De Qian royal family. This involves the overall dispute between the imperial court and Baileyang. One mistake can lead to bloodshed and loss of life. Which side of the martial arts world dares to be so bold and wade into this muddy water? Just as the Night Zong assassin dared not act recklessly, Peng, a heavily armored figure suddenly rushed out of the mountains and quickly landed in front of Du Guiyun, Crown Prince. Qing Niao, who had no time to react, had a conditioned desire to protect him in front of Du Guiyun. However, he was stopped by Du Guiyun, there's no need at all. Heavenly Killer hides the sun. See your highness. Du Guiyun's eyes narrowed slightly. He also knew a little about this organization. It was like a trap in the sky and earth, with every hole in it. This organization was the largest and most terrifying assassin organization in time and space, with a long history, even more distant than the history of the Qin state. In terms of concealing the sun, it was not the empire that chose them, but they chose the empire. In the organization, it is divided into eight levels, namely, heavenly killing and earthly extinction, demons and demons. The top combat power is a few top-notch assassins, among which the six swordsmen never separate from each other in collective action, covering the sun, startling salamanders, and xian jian are generally independent actions and can be listed as first-class experts. Hiss. Qingya looked at Du Guiyun with an incredulous expression on his face. When did his own crown prince still hide such a backhand? Could it be that during the time he left Baileyang city, the crown prince had been accumulating strength and refusing to let go? This. Thinking of how deeply scheming and far dot reaching the layout of his own crown prince could be, Qingyao couldn't help but gasp for air. 
He truly deserved to be the crown prince of northern Yan and the existence feared by the great Qian dynasty. Like a father, like a son. Kill. Du Yun didn't say much, he just said something almost coldly, a simple word, the meaning of which is self.evident. Let's go. With Du Yun's command, he realized that the situation was not good for the twelve evil spirits of Yizang. He immediately wanted to leave as the top strategy and wait for the opportunity to move again another day. Dare to jump up and in the next moment, Shua. The sharp sword shadow appeared and slashed out, forcing the twelve evil spirits of Yizong to temporarily avoid their sharpness, what kind of person? He quickly looked over and said, the number one assassin in the sky, Jing Salamander, is here. On your highness's order, he will execute Xiao Xiao. The number one killer in the sky, black and white Xianjian, is here. Two figures in a row suddenly fell down, we see your highness. After repelling the twelve evil spirits of Yizong, Jing Xian and Xian Jian half knelt in front of Du Yun in unison, and me too. The last to appear were six blindfolded swordsmen who looked extraordinary, mysterious and mysterious, with distinct temperament. They all knelt in unison and said, Six sword slaves, see your highness. Trapping the sky killer. Now it all appears. Get up. Du Yun just said a faint sentence, the countless assassins and these notorious assassins who have checked in are the most important, hiss. Looking at the four unfathomable beings in front of her, Qingyao couldn't help but gasp for air, feeling that she still underestimated the crown prince too much, sure enough, I underestimated the crown prince too much. These methods are really unpredictable. Even the De Qian royal family and civil and military officials would never have imagined that Du Yun was so secretive, far less powerful than he appeared to be on the surface, with low strength. This. Compared to that, Yi Zhang, the twelve demons who came to assassinate Du Yun, was a bit panicked, the originally inevitable situation of success has suddenly undergone such a shocking reversal. Although it is not yet clear how powerful these assassins are, looking at the terrifying momentum of their extermination, they must be quite remarkable. Crown Prince We are just using people's money to do things for others. Let us have a way out, and we will form a good relationship. In the future, we can be used by the Crown Prince. The Night Zong assassin, led by him, immediately made a 180-degree turn in attitude and said with a shy expression, We, the twelve demons of Night Zong, have no real intention of facing the crown prince in battle. If the crown prince is willing, we can provide you with some unknown secrets and plans about the great Qian dynasty hall. This is the way these Night Zong assassins deal with the world. In order to survive, for the sake of profit, they can abandon all the bottom line of being a person. Unfortunately, from beginning to end, Du Yun's gaze remained as calm as water, as if he had never heard their plea for mercy. This made Yi Zhang's face gradually gloomy and unsightly. After all, no matter what they do, they can still be considered as well-known beings for a long time. Even the royal family would treat them politely on the surface. How could they have received such cold treatment and contempt? The crown prince needs to figure it out. Our Night Zong Twelve Demons teamed up, and even if it means Master Xian, we can still fight. The reason why Yi Zhang's Twelve Devils were talking so nonsense was to make Du Yun in front of him use a cautious tactic and choose to stop in time instead of risking his life to catch him. But it is obvious that they are destined to be disappointed, this is a crushing game, their end has come. Kill. A simple command, one of the slender assassins dressed in fish scale armor, Startled Salamander, heard Du Yun's command without any hesitation, and even chose to leave in a flash. These people are noisy, let me help them keep silent forever. Just one person wants to deal with our Night Zong Twelve Devils. It's beyond our control. Seeing a woman dare to speak so loudly in this area, Yi Zhang's Twelve Devils were somewhat angry, as if they were being looked down upon. Is it because their reputation as the Night Zong Twelve Demons is becoming less and less prominent, or is it something? This little servant dares to underestimate himself so much. Go to hell, 
at the first moment when the blade was in opposition, the expression of the Night Zong assassin changed from initial anger to shock in an instant. How could it be? Why is it that I am completely unable to compete with it? Pine. This Night Zong assassin, surprisingly, had his right arm cut off in an instant. End of this chapter. Chapter 4. Event Resolution. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 4 Event Resolution, Hi. There is no name among the assassins of the Night Zong, only a code name. This assassin, who was seriously injured by the startled salamander in an instant, ranks fifth among the twelve evil spirits of the Night Zong, Shua. The figure fell steadily to the ground, and the startled salamander casually carried the sword of the King of Yu in his hand and stood upright. But that's it. At this moment, although Bing has lost his left arm, as a powerful presence, he immediately acupoints and blocks the meridians to stop bleeding, and still has the power to fight. But at this moment, the twelve evil spirits of Yi Zong have to dare to take it lightly again and must be prepared for it. Point to Master Xian. Among them, the existence led by the twelve evil spirits of Yi Zong, the assassin with the code name A, looked at the startled salamander with a solemn expression and said a sentence. Only at the moment of actual confrontation can one see the true strength of a warrior. In that moment, the power unleashed by the startled salamander made all the twelve demons of Yi Zong pale with excitement. Master Ji Xian. It actually refers to Master Xian. Even in the thirteen states of the world, there are still very few Master Ji Xuan. Unexpectedly, here, one can find such a young Master Ji Xuan, who is also a beautiful woman with a frail and emaciated figure. At this moment, the twelve demons of Yi Zong had to choose to fight hard, otherwise the young Master Zhishuan in front of him would probably be enough to defeat ten with one enemy. Does it seem like we're going to be trapped and still fight? It seemed that at a glance, Yi Zong twelve Sha, whose face was as solemn as a formidable enemy, a startled silver bell-like smile rang out. This is my first battle in front of the Crown Prince. I must give it my all and never make any mistakes, let the crown prince underestimate me. Death. A sword was swung, indicating the strength of Master Xian's realm. At this moment it was fully displayed, and the powerful sword wind howled, starting to roll up layers of fierce winds in the originally calm mountains and forests. Dugu Yun's mouth curved slightly. By the way, although the startled salamander was defeated by Gai Nia or Wei Zhuang, it was not easy to deal with you and other petty assassins. Kang. 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 For a moment, the sound of metal rustling incessantly echoed throughout the mountains and forests, the twelve evil spirits of Yi Zong teamed up, and their strength is comparable to that of Master Ji Xian, which cannot be underestimated. Although it seemed particularly difficult to resist the attack of the startled salamander, it still persevered and persevered. You guys. After several rounds of fighting, even the startled salamander felt unbelievable. The battle they thought they could solve in minutes was delayed until now. This adult. Compared to others, the twelve evil spirits of Yi Zong appear extremely disheveled, with numerous scars. It can be seen that facing a master Ji Xian, even if it is the joint efforts of the twelve evil spirits of Yi Zong, it is still very difficult to deal with. We have no grudges in the past and no grudges in the recent days. Why did we kill someone? At this moment, the twelve evil spirits of Yi Zong have spared no expense in order to survive, and their tone has become extremely respectful, even willing to sacrifice money and silk. If adults are willing to spare us, a hundred thousand gold, willing to offer it with both hands. How about that? This is one hundred thousand tales of gold, even the internal treasury of the De Qian royal family is a considerable amount. This is their secret collection of the Night Zong sect for many years, and this 100,000 tales of gold represents hundreds of thousands of blood deaths. Ha! The startled salamander smiled, with an extremely cold smile. They were insulting their own personality. Give you a face and kill yourself. You! They were momentarily speechless and looked incredulous. 
Why are you, Master Zhishuan, so loyal to Du Guyun? Even a hundred thousand gold coins couldn't make her expression even ripple. If the crown prince promises what kind of compensation the lord will receive, let him speak up. If we can do it, we, the twelve demons of Night Zong, will definitely do our best to satisfy the lord. I thought Du Guyun had used some means to bribe the master Zhishuan in front of him, but unfortunately. Still in vain. TSK, since that's the case, let me take you on your way. You. Without saying a word, the startled salamander once again took action, and the night Zong assassin could only be forced to exhaust himself and fight to the death. It's a bit slow. On Du Guyun's side, watching the startled salamander struggling with the twelve demons of Yizong, Du Guyun spoke calmly. Ah. Uh. The green bird on the side was momentarily dumbfounded at the words. Crown Prince, you may have underestimated the strength of the twelve demons of the Night Zong too much. The trouble and difficulty of their methods are rare in the world. They are skilled in countless Yin moves and hidden weapons, even when the Northern Liang King was dealing with the peak period of the Night Zong twelve demons, it was not particularly easy. Crown Prince. This is already. The bluebird was originally hesitant to speak, but at this moment, the sun cover on the side suddenly gave a color to the black and white Xian Jian. He nodded clearly, without saying a word, black and white Xian Jian whispered to Du Guyun, I take orders. After speaking, the black and white Xian Jian flew away. What? Qin Yao, who was suddenly interrupted, still had a strange expression on her face. Command. What does this mean? Isn't this crown prince of his own family silent? He never gave any orders. Qingyao looked over in confusion, but all she could see was the face of Du Guyun, who had no waves in the ancient well, as if everything was under her control, Pang. The twelve evil spirits of Yi Zong joined forces, and in a short period of time, even if they were referring to the shocking salamanders in the realm of Master Xian, they could not easily eliminate them all. Ha! Huh. Looking at the startled salamander who had just been pushed back a few steps, Yi Zong Twelve Sha couldn't help but breathe a sigh of relief. After looking at each other, he nodded slightly, indicating that he had hoped to escape from life. The next moment, they were ready to take off and flee, but looking at the black and white Xian Jian that stopped them at some point, all twelve evil spirits of Yi Zong fell into a dying frenzy. If you dare to block the way, then let's all perish together. Qing Yao instinctively felt a sense of shock upon seeing this. Under the threat of death, they played their cards one by one, but they should not be underestimated. Just, hu hu. With the sound of two swords drawn, black and white Xian Jian swiftly and swiftly rushed away without saying a word. After a moment, the mountains and forests on this side returned to their previous tranquility. At this moment, there was no sound of metal clanging and interweaving at all. And a quarter of an hour ago, the twelve evil spirits of Yizong, who were still shining and imposing, have now turned into twelve pitiful corpses with blood and flesh blurred. The startled salamander and the black and white Xian Jian looked calm, shook the blood on the blade, and slowly collected it from the scabbard. You. You. Among them, the assassin's armor, led by the twelve demons of Yizong, still had some faint breath remaining. With difficulty, he lifted his head and looked at the black and white Xian Jian and the startled salamander, his tone trembling. Point to Master Xian. You all point to Master Xian. He can't figure it out at all, and he won't close his eyes. Why did Du Guyun have two experts from Master Ji Xian under his command? This is too incredible. The intelligence of the De Qian royal family is incorrect. What's the point? Martial artists have a proud and arrogant heart, let alone referring to the fact that Master Xian is accustomed to being free and unrestrained, because they hold a high status and are guests of honor in any power. Although there are true masters and great powers in many imperial dynasties, they all come at a great cost in order to drive them to serve tirelessly. Why are you Du Guyun? Even though he is the crown prince of Baeliang, he has been idle and inactive for decades, 
living a life of debauchery and decadence. How could he have such a background? Dugu. Until he completely lost consciousness, he was extremely unwilling to accept his fate and outcome. You're so damn it. At this moment, the startled salamander also walked over and looked at the black and white Xian Jian with an unkind expression. I clearly knew I was about to finish them all, but you suddenly took the fruits of the battle. What's your intention? Upon hearing this, black and white Xian Jian glanced at her as if he had heard a joke, but with a sneer, I don't know what it means. Do you know that your highness is very dissatisfied with your inability to fight quickly and make quick decisions? With this alone, you don't have enough consciousness as a tool for killing. Ah. Uh. In that case, it really left the salamander dumbfounded. Hush. She furrowed her brow and lightly bit her silver teeth. I see. In an instant, her heart was both shy and angry, and she also felt ashamed of her own lack of strength. It's okay. Your strength, your highness, is clear in your heart. You should continue to improve your martial arts skills, otherwise you are not worthy of loyalty to your highness. Don't hold a playful attitude and keep talking nonsense and delaying the battle with your highness. Let's not do it again. What? You. Watching the two of them walking, Qingya felt a sense of awe in her heart. What does he mean by this statement? This is Master Xuanzong, how could he be so humble? What means does your highness have to subdue them, and what kind of mastery is this? It's too outrageous. Without waiting for Qingyao to finish speaking, the startled salamander knelt down in front of Du Yun, lowering his head and making a deep voice. I am powerless. I acknowledge my mistake. Please punish me, your highness. Ah. Uh. Seeing this, Qingyao was even more stunned. At first, Qingyao also thought that Du Yun must have received a large reward to win them over and protect him in this way. But at present, it seems that this is not the case. Ordinary means cannot make these powerful Ji Xian masters so loyal. Say kneel, kneel. Your Highness. At this moment, the black and white Xian Jian and the six sword slaves on the side also half knelt down. Your Highness, it's all your subordinates' problems. If you had noticed the thorny and special aspects of the Night Zong Twelve Demons earlier, I believe you wouldn't have let the startling salamander face the Night Zong Twelve Demons alone. So much so that the efficiency of solving the enemy situation is so low. Please punish your highness. The appearance of willingly accepting punishment has made Qingyao even more suspicious of life. Does this refer to Master Xian? Why don't you have any pride anymore? Or rather, in the eyes of these people, compared to Du Yun, their own dignity and pride are not worth mentioning, and they are truly loyal to him from the bottom of their hearts. Your Highness. At this moment, as the leader of the trap, Masayoshi is also preparing to apologize. That's enough. After noticing that Masayoshi was also preparing to kneel, Dugu Yun waved his hand clearly and interrupted, I didn't blame you. If it weren't for you, I would have become a dead bone in the grave. If it weren't for the appearance of the Eight Swords of King Yu, I'm afraid I might have been unlucky today. As far as Dugu Yun knew, in that time and space, the Sun Mask belonged to the Eight Swords of the King of Yu, ranking first in the Tianzi class. At the same time, it was also one of the rulers at the core of the net, with a high status and the ability to give orders to people of the same level, such as Xian Jian and Jing Xian. At the same time, his strength is also one of the strongest. Now that he has arrived at this world, his realm has become equivalent to that of a great master of celestial phenomena. However, there is currently no opportunity to showcase it, so no one else knows the power of the head of the eight swords of the king of you to cover the sun. We pledge to protect your highness to the death. Upon hearing Du Yun's words, the people including sun masking shouted loudly with full confidence. As if guarding the safety of Du Yun, this is the meaning of their existence, the destiny of this life. Go back. With a wave of his hand, the number one assassin in the world, King Yu's Eight Swords, 
and the 3,000 assassins in the trap organization followed Dugu Yun's side in a grand manner, constantly guarding his safety, this. To be honest, the shock in the hearts of Qingyao and many guards at this moment can be imagined. Even now, it is still difficult to calm down. What happened today made them rediscover the crown prince to whom they were loyal. It was they who underestimated him in the past, and it is truly unfathomable. Ha ha ha. In the residence of the Prince of Northern Liang, at this moment, the King of Northern Liang appears to be a robust and burly figure. Although his hair and beard have turned grey, his long-worn and domineering aura, as well as the authority of his superiors, are undoubtedly revealed. Chilin. This is the Chilin of this king. Ha ha ha. The real name of the Northern Liang king is Dugu Xiaolong. Decades ago, he followed the late emperor to fight on the battlefield and end the chaotic era. It can be said that the current prosperous era of the great Qian dynasty and the situation of unifying the world cannot be achieved without the great contributions and contributions of this northern young king Dugu Xiaolong. When the late emperor was alive, he once conferred the title of Dugu Xiaolong as the only king with a different surname in the great Qian dynasty. He authorized his 400,000 Northern Yang army to still belong to him for guarding the border, and it was invincible, making everyone tremble with fear. The former emperor could also be called a wise, divine, powerful, and talented strategist. Naturally, he was aware that he had given such great power to the king of Northern Yang, which could become an unstable factor for the empire in the future. However, the former late emperor of the great Qian dynasty was extremely confident and even somewhat arrogant. He believed that as long as he had his own seat in the imperial capital, even if the northern Yang king had a sense of disobedience, he could never turn the tide and could not lose control under his own power. I am certain that I can steadily suppress this king of northern Liang, but unexpected circumstances may arise. However, this late emperor passed away in a very short period of time due to a terminal illness, and there is no time to leave the crucial means to balance and restrain the power of Northern Liang. So much so that now the entire De Qian dynasty, whether it is the imperial family or civil and military officials, is extremely wary of the Northern Liang forces, constantly thinking of withdrawing their fiefdoms. Ha ha ha. The entire Northern Liang prince's mansion echoed with the hearty laughter of Dugu Xiaolong. As the king of Northern Liang, Dugu Xiaolong naturally has his own intelligence organization, which is related to all the movements and news of the crown prince of Northern Liang. Dugu Xiaolong is naturally closely monitoring at all times, whether it is the appearance of the twelve demons of Night Zong or other unexpected events. I truly deserve to be the son of my Dugu Xiaolong. Originally, Dugu Xiaolong would send elite experts to help him break free, but unexpectedly, his own people had not even had a chance to take action and witness Dugu Yun's great display of power in the dark. Unexpectedly, I have now tried to uncover Kirin's trump card. Three Finger Profound Masters Although there are many such realm beings under the command of the Northern Yang King, according to his subordinates, what Dugu Xiaolong cares most about is actually these powerful beings who have such high loyalty to his son. End of this chapter Chapter 5 Return to Northern Liang You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 5 Return to Northern Liang This one kneels whenever you say it, without any arrogance from the master. Even Dugu Xiaolong feels incredibly unbelievable. I really don't know, this Yunar is really suitable for winning people's hearts through means. It seems like I underestimated her. It is extremely difficult to achieve this as a grand northern young king. Ha ha ha. Thinking of this, Dugu Xiaolong couldn't help but burst out laughing arrogantly, but then, cough. He was so happy and excited from the bottom of his heart that he laughed uncontrollably and suddenly coughed violently. Prince. At this moment, an elderly man in a long robe who seemed to be a Confucian scholar walked up to Dugu Xiaolong's side and said with some concern, Prince. Your body is in trouble, so there should be no significant emotional fluctuations. Only by calming down and maintaining a calm mind can you maintain good health. Oh. It's Mr. Ziang. After seeing the seedlings of the newcomer, 
Dugu Xiaolong smiled and said, I believe you must have some knowledge of my son's deeds. That's true. The old man, known as Mr. Ziang, did not deny it. Instead, he chuckled and sighed, it seems that the crown prince has only deliberately portrayed himself as a young playboy for so many years, indulging in debauchery and being arrogant. The purpose is just to numb certain beings and let them relax their vigilance. In fact, the young master has a very deep mind, and now it seems that he has an extraordinary foundation and a profound layout. He truly deserves to be your Qilin son, prince. Mr. Ziang had to say that this time he also looked up to Dugu Yun as a scholar for several years. The hidden power displayed by Dugu Yun may leave many people stunned. By the way, why have I never heard of the existence of those Xuanzong masters around him in the martial arts world? He is dressed in refined steel armor, wears a mask of evil spirits, has six blindfolded swordsmen, and has a name called, Black and White Xianjian. Dot. Yeah, this is also something that makes me quite curious. I expect that such a master will inevitably have some signs of activity in the martial arts world, but even I don't know him at all. It seems like a master who has been hidden for many years has just emerged recently. Anyway, I have already sent someone to investigate. Well, please trouble Mr. Ziang. We cannot take these people's background, background, and purpose of gathering under the Crown Prince's command lightly. Well, it's okay, it's just my duty. Ha ha ha. After saying these words, Dugu Xiaolong still smiled brightly and said, Let's go. I have to say that I, as a father, am not responsible enough to expose his cards in such a dangerous situation. And it has been ten years since then. Speaking of which, Dugu Xiaolong became completely self blaming. After ten years of separation between father and son, times have changed, and things have changed. How can I live up to his late mother? The prince doesn't need to be like this. Mr. Ziang beside him comforted with concern, if Queen Quan knows anything, she will also feel relieved. Unconsciously, it's been ten years. Looking at the ancient and heavy gate of Bail Yangqing in front of him, Dugu Yun sighed in his tone, and his mind vaguely flashed with memories of this gate from his youth. Years have passed, and it remains as before. Crown Prince. Let's go quickly, I believe the prince has been waiting for a long time now. The green bird on the side gently advised. Mmm. Dugu Yun nodded, even though it was the residence of the Prince of Northern Liang, it was not as luxurious and grand as people imagined. This is also closely related to the personality of the Northern Liang King, who is not bound by small details and does not pay attention to these formalities, nor does he need to use them to demonstrate his power and authority. Ha ha ha. Yuner. You have finally come back. Daring to enter the mansion, I heard the hearty laughter of Dugu Xiaolong as if thundering in my ears. Prince. The green bird on the side quickly saluted him. Following Dugu Yun's side, the masked son, startled salamander, black and white Xianjian, and others remained motionless without any expression. Just standing silently beside Dugu Yun with a cold expression on his face, even if the other person was the famous Northern Liang King Dugu Xiaolong, everything in this world, except for Dugu Yun, was disdainful to those like Masked Sunday. Dad. Looking at the man in front of him, although still muscular and domineering, with a slightly unsteady gait and an elderly face, Dugu Yun's emotions were quite complicated. Although I have traveled through time, I can still feel his strong concern. No matter how cruel and cold dot blooded the Northern Yang King may be, for now, Dugu Xiaolong is just an ordinary and kind father. Okay. Just come back. A simple title has made this Dugu Xiaolong, who once made countless enemy generals tremble with fear on the battlefield, known as the existence of the god of human slaughter, and for a moment, he was still filled with tears. How many years have passed, how many years have I not heard such a title? Your Highness the Crown Prince. At this moment, Mr. Ziang beside him spoke with a smile as he stroked his beard. Mr. Ziang. Don't be safe. Seeing the other person, Dugu Yun bowed slightly out of respect for his elders. Moreover, 
Mr. Ziang's identity is quite complicated. Through some past memories, Du Yun knew that Mr. Ziang was the strategist of Du Gu Xiaolong, the king of Northern Liang. He was responsible for planning and strategizing for Du Gu Xiaolong, and in the process, he was able to win thousands of miles away. The current Du Gu Xiaolong cannot achieve such success without the best assistance of Mr. Ziang. So in this Northern Liangcheng, there is no doubt that Mr. Ziang's status and status are very transcendent. Your Highness, you're welcome. Lu Zhuo did not hold his own identity, but smiled politely and peacefully. These are probably the right dot hand men of His Highness the Crown Prince. Mr. Ziang took the opportunity to look at the masked son and others around Du Yun, with a solemn and stern demeanor that even Mr. Ziang, who was knowledgeable and knowledgeable, couldn't help but be shocked. Sir, I'm too humble. Mr. Miando Ziang's gaze fixed on him, the tone of masking the sun was very calm, deep and cold. We are subordinates, just servants. Your Highness is the existence that we need to swear to protect to the death. It may sound like a simple sentence, but when it reaches Mr. Ziang's ears, it feels quite unbelievable. What does this phrase mean? The subtext is clearly that this sun cover can completely achieve the goal of dying for Du Yun without hesitation. This. Although he had already heard of it based on intelligence, he still felt quite strange after witnessing this absolute loyalty with his own eyes. Ha ha ha. It's truly my Chilin son. This method is really impressive, causing some beings to stumble, uh -huh. Although Dugu Xiaolong was somewhat speechless, he still patted Dugu Yun's shoulder with satisfaction afterwards. At the same time, in the imperial palace of the great Qian dynasty, there was the Qinjing Hall. The atmosphere was somewhat oppressive, a dead silence. Pang. The emperor looked at the intelligence in his hand, frowning slightly, his body trembling slightly, his expression gloomy and angry, and a hint of pressure began to leak out uncontrollably. The desk in front of him, under the influence of his profound cultivation, gradually began to crumble, destroy, and crumble into powder. What a Duke Yun! What a prince of Northern Liang! He crumpled the intelligence in his hand into a ball of paper and angrily threw it onto the ground. Your Majesty, calm down and be not kind to dragons. The Gonggong Guli Temple, who was standing beside him, couldn't help but express his concern in a soft voice. Obviously, this person is the supreme emperor of the great Qian dynasty today, Yuan Tiangang. That's enough. Yuan Tiangang laughed back angrily and said, it's because I underestimated this Du Yun. If the crown prince of Northern Liang relies on some Jianhu assassins, he will be easily solved and feel that something is wrong. I didn't originally take those useless pieces to heart, but they were just some probing pieces. End of this chapter Chapter 6 Emperor De Qian You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 6 Emperor De Qian Although that's the case, after all, it took a lot of effort to cultivate these twelve evil spirits of the Night Song. They didn't hesitate to die, and the most crucial thing was that they also took the risk of beating grass and startling snakes. Fortunately, I didn't expect them to leave any leverage behind. Even if Du Yun had noticed, his one-dot-sided words were not a concern. The more so it is, the more determined Yuan Tian Gang is to eliminate the crown prince of Baileyang. In order to maintain the eternal power of the De Qian dynasty, I must spare no effort to eradicate the Northern Yang forces and achieve the goal of cutting down my domain. There was a Northern Yang king in the Great Qian dynasty, which was enough to make one tremble with fear. Judging from Du Yun's performance, his future achievements may not be weaker than his father Du Xiaolong. Moreover, now Du Yun has shown extraordinary cunning and powerful and unpredictable cards. If it weren't for this assassination, I'm afraid many people are still blinded by his ignorant and inexperienced appearance as a playboy. It's really hidden and not exposed. Terrifying, despicable, killing. Thinking of this, Yuan Tian Gang pondered for a moment and ordered, notify Yuan Huang and Yuan Huan. Tell them who can kill Du Yun, and who is the crown prince of the great Qian dynasty. This. 
However, Gu Jiao Temple on the side hesitated a bit. It might be inappropriate to assign such a dangerous task to the two princes, what? Do you have any objections? However, in the face of Gu Jiao Temple's attitude, Yuan Tiangang's eyes narrowed slightly as he glanced at him, and suddenly the corner of his mouth raised slightly. Gu Xuanzi, it seems that you are old and timid, too introverted and conservative. It's time to take care of yourself. No, no, no. Your Majesty misunderstood. Upon hearing this, Gu Jiao Temple quickly shook its head and knelt down, looking frightened. As the saying goes, accompanying a ruler is like accompanying a tiger. One word that goes against one's own policies may end one's life, or even endanger one's life. How dare one have any objections? I'll do it now, old slave. Speaking, Gu Gongdong stood up without saying a word and went to do something. Ha! Looking at the other person's hasty departure, Yuan Tiangang just let out a cold snort. For the prosperous era of my Qianxiu reign, everything can be sacrificed. The most ruthless imperial family, at this moment, is also fully reflected. Looking back at the northern young prince's mansion. Let's go, let's go. Yuner finally came back. As a father, I want to hold a grand banquet and clean up the dust for my son. At this moment, Dugu Xiaolong and others were immersed in the joy of reunion after a long separation, unaware of the malicious thoughts of Emperor Qian. However, they were aware of the desire of the great Qian dynasty to eliminate them quickly, but they didn't pay much attention to it. Troops for the enemy, earth for floods. You all have contributed to the protection, let's join together. As he spoke, Dugu Xiaolong looked towards the group of people, including Mashi. Although he is the king of Northern Liang, many times, Dugu Xiaolong rarely puts on any lofty airs, but instead appears very friendly and kind. Bold and grand. Broad-minded, not limited to any particular style. As for external rumors, the king of Northern Liang was cruel, bloodthirsty, and ruthless, undoubtedly, it was someone who deliberately wanted to smear the reputation of the Northern Liang king Dugu Xiaolong. Dot. Masked son and others did not respond, but instead stared at Dugu Yun. Only Dugu Yun's command was the truth in the world and the only thing they had to follow. Let's go together. Dugu Yun is a person who respects virtuous soldiers and is equally sincere and enthusiastic towards others. Even his subordinates have no sense of superiority or inferiority in his mind. Yes, your highness. With Dugu Yun's words, the son and others all agreed in unison. Tisk. Dugu Xiaolong was a bit tongue-pounding, still feeling puzzled. What means was his son using to make these unknown hidden world masters loyal to him? Go, go, go. Anyway, for my son, as an old father, I definitely need unconditional trust and support. Thinking too much is futile. Ha ha ha. Looking at this Dugu Xiaolong, who had no northern Yang Wang airs and looked like a kind father, Dugu Yun also sighed a bit. This kind of emotion is still quite warm. However, when I followed Dugu Xiaolong to the main hall of the northern Liang prince's mansion. Trigger check that I an opportunity. Do you want to use it? What? The sudden sound in his mind made Dugu Yun stop and triggered the check that I an opportunity. Dugu Yun was taken aback for a moment, but he remembered. It seemed that besides obtaining the system, he had used a check that I an opportunity once, I haven't had a detailed understanding of my own system yet, gold finger. After all, the situation was extremely dangerous at that time, and it was too late. Why, isn't my son returning to his hometown after many years and feeling very familiar? Seeing his own son, he suddenly stopped and his gaze was stunned. Dugu Xiaolong thought it was because he hadn't returned for too long, and he was both familiar and unfamiliar with everything in the royal mansion. Don't worry. Dugu Xiaolong coughed dryly and said seriously, from now on, you can do whatever you want, have any ideas, goals, aspirations, and work hard to achieve them. As a father, I will definitely and unconditionally support you. 
Dugayun felt a little embarrassed. Dad, could you stop brainwashing so inexplicably? But it's still quite touching, hee hee. Let's eat first. I'm too lazy to take the conversation. Let's learn more about the system check that I end later when there is no one available. Right, right, right. Eat and eat. Ha ha ha, it's dad who talks too much nonsense. Come on, come on. Whether it is the residence of the Prince of Northern Liang or not, the culinary skills equipped are self-evident, and can even be considered as imperial chefs. Even as a traveler, Du Guyun couldn't help but praise the food, it was extremely beautiful. Mr. Mask Sunday. I have a toast to you. Just as Du Guyun and Du Gu Xiaolong were drinking, Mr. Ziang at the dinner table suddenly made a toast to cover the sun, hmm. I was a bit surprised, but Masayoshi nodded in response. Late at night, Dugu Yun asked the others to leave first, and by the moonlight, he arrived alone in the quiet courtyard. As expected by Dugu Yun, at this moment, his cheap father, Dugu Xiaolong, was silently waiting for him in the courtyard with his hands on his back. At first glance, his white hair on his head was reflected by the moonlight like frost and snow. You are truly my big brother. After seeing Dugu Yun approaching, Dugu Xiaolong grinned. With a smile on his face, as he approached him, Dugu Yun said nonchalantly, even a fool could understand such an obvious suggestion, okay. At the end of the welcoming banquet, Dugu Xiaolong quietly gave Dugu Yun a strange look. Although he didn't say a word, Dugu Yun immediately understood the meaning of his gaze and came to the courtyard in the late night. What do you want to say? End of this chapter. Chapter 7 Night Talk You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 7 Night Talk Although they were travelers, after all, there was a blood relationship between them. When facing Dugu Xiaolong, Dugu Yun not only had no sense of unfamiliarity, but also a genuine sense of security. Ha! The more impressive his son is now, the more proud and proud Dugu Xiaolong is. Look, he is indeed a tiger father without a son. There's something I originally wanted to keep from you, but now, I've decided to reveal my feelings to you. Originally, out of his intention to protect Dugu Yun's safety, Dugu Xiaolong had many things that he did not intend to tell him, after all, many times, the more you know, the more you have to bear, and sometimes being ignorant is also a way to live a peaceful life. But now Dugu Yun, in the eyes of Dugu Xiaolong, already has some abilities and can try to inherit the future of Northern Liang. Nature is entitled to know everything. Hmm. Seeing Dugu Xiaolong's serious appearance, Dugu Yun also became serious and focused, picking up some energy. It seems that the words he is about to say are definitely not simple. This time, I sent many teams, all with huge performances, all to disguise themselves as you and confuse your ears and eyes, helping you smoothly return to Baoyang. Under the pale moonlight, Dugu Xiaolong's expression gradually became solemn, and he appeared somewhat calm and confident. I know. Dugu Yun heard that Qin Yun said that more than a dozen carriages were the same in terms of staffing and configuration, and they also started their journey from different directions. But. Among them, the enemy has accurately found your dwelling place. Originally, Dugu Yun was a bit surprised. What did he mean by this sentence? When he heard his subsequent words, he immediately understood everything. I see. Dugu Yun was clear in his heart that he could analyze the underlying reasons from some very simple surface phenomena. So, there's an insider. That's right. Dugu Xiaolong also nodded in a deep voice, no one knew that there were enemy spies or traitors hidden beside him, and his heart was always much heavier. The key is that even Dugu Xiaolong currently has no eyebrows or eyes, and has never known such a spy or suspect of an inner ghost. That's also why, as a father, I would talk to you alone late at night. In the future, you should be even more careful and cautious. After all, no one knows when the hidden crisis factor will choose to take action again. Why did you suddenly call me back? Compared to him, Dugu Yun was more curious about another matter and asked calmly. 
isn't bringing me back putting me at the center of a vortex of contradictions. How can we talk about protecting me from harm? Of course, he has no intention of blaming anyone, because avoiding the problem cannot solve it, and there are no eggs left under the cover of the nest. In the end, he will still face the danger of being in a dangerous situation. This question is just an expression of inner doubt. If possible, Dugu Xiaolong also wanted to do the same. His gaze was deep and he looked at Dugu Yun, realizing that he was his own Qilin. No matter how cold and ruthless Dugu Xiaolong was when facing enemies, he was unparalleled in bravery. However, in front of his son, he only had infinite love and indulgence. My life is not long. How could it be? Dugu Yun was stunned and said, You are the great master of the heavenly phenomenon, with a lifespan of 500 yuan. How could time run out? The reason why King Dugu Xiaolong of Baoyang was able to intimidate the world is not only because he had a 400,000 strong army of Baoyang, but also because of his own strength, which reached the level of a great master of celestial phenomena, and he was also an outstanding natural general. Among all the martial artists in the world, there is the strongest Chinese-style strength among the brave and skilled generals, and even more invincible in the same realm as the celestial master. Now that Dugu Xiaolong has just turned a hundred years old, it seems that his physical functions have not aged too much. Why is there so little time left so quickly? The great master of astronomy is not invincible either. Dugu Xiaolong shook his head slightly. He had long been indifferent to the matter of life and death, and was very relieved. It is obvious that even if it is the great master of astronomy, someone has poisoned my father through years of unpredictable means, and I will eventually die prematurely. Did you poison it? Facing the gaze of Dugu Xiaolong, Dugu Yun's eyes became slightly gloomy. What kind of sinister means is this? How did it happen again? Ha ha ha. Seeing Dugu Yun's concern and suspicion in his eyes, Dugu Xiaolong smiled with relief. As his death was approaching, Dugu Xiaolong was fearless, and the only thing he couldn't let go of was Dugu Yun in front of him. Being a father can lead to death, but you are in your youth and young age, so I want to protect you from danger. Originally, my intention was for you to inherit the position of the Northern Liang King as soon as possible, holding a 400,000 strong army of Northern Liang. Even if the court wanted to attack you, they wouldn't dare to act rashly. But now it seems that being a father underestimates you too much. Ha ha ha. Speaking of the end, Dugu Xiaolong burst into laughter instead, because the appearance of the 3000 net assassins made Dugu Xiaolong think that perhaps his son had really been holding back and had a deep foundation. In this situation, even if he died, Dugu Xiaolong could still rest in peace. Dot. Dugu Yun was just speechless. Would you be excited to inherit the throne? How could it be? On the contrary, Dugu Yun could feel the anger burning from the bottom of his heart. Not only targeting oneself, but even one's own father has already been taken advantage of. It seems that there are too many people in this world who are deliberately trying to kill them. How could he let those little ones succeed? How long is left? Dugu Yun, with a gloomy face, suddenly asked in a low voice. Hmm. Upon being asked this question, Dugu Xiaolong clearly didn't react, I ask you, how long can you live at most? Dugu Yun asked again. Hmm, he said earnestly after a moment of silence, with my current cultivation level as a father, I can only last for a maximum of ten years. Rest assured that within these ten years, my father will help you smoothly inherit the throne of Baoyang and clear all obstacles. Ten years. Dugu Yun didn't pay much attention to the nonsense behind it, leaving only a mere ten years of life for a celestial phenomena master who had just turned a hundred years old. It is evident that the methods used were cruel and insidious, and this poison should not be underestimated. Sorry, young master, I'm not interested at the moment. Please be your lord. What? Under the surprised gaze of Dugu Xiaolong, Dugu Yun turned around and slowly left. At the same time, a firm and domineering voice also came from the boundless night. I will find the antidote to this poison. 
If you ascend to heaven without my permission, I will shed blood and float my oars, bury a million corpses, and accompany you. A million floating corpses. Watching his son's back gradually fade away and blur, Dugu Xiaolong couldn't help but chuckle disdainfully after whispering. Stinky kid, you're just talking big. Are you really not taking human life seriously? Do you know what that concept is? As a lifelong warrior, killing the birth of the northern Yang king Dugu Xiaolong from the mountains of corpses and seas of blood, I am well aware of what a hell it is to see a scene full of corpses. But. Truly worthy of being my son. He felt very relieved that only in this way could he be called his son. Speaking of which, Dugu Xiaolong raised his head and looked at the stars in the sky. Jiang Shui. As long as I live, not only will I not let Yun Er have any problems, but I will also assist Yun Er in achieving extraordinary accomplishments. With a domineering murderous aura, Dugu Xiaolong seemed to have transformed back into the invincible king of Northern Liang on the battlefield. Your Highness. When Dugu Yun returned, he saw that people outside the room had been waiting for a long time, covering the sun. Speak up. Dugu Yun is now feeling depressed and doesn't want to say anything more. End of this chapter. Chapter 8. Obtaining Skills. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 8 Obtaining Skills, Your Highness. It seemed that Dugu Yun was feeling quite displeased at the moment, and without hesitation, he said directly, that Ziang military master, recruit me and wait. Recruit. Upon hearing these words, Dugu Yun also hesitated for a moment. That's right. The startled salamander on the side continued, that person not only wants to recruit the leader, but also wants to trap and organize us all into the Northern Liang army. Speaking of these words, Jing Xian was quite disdainful. They were Dugu Yun's private armed forces. If it weren't for the awe in the eyes of Sun Mask and others, Jing Xian might have acted decisively at that time. Is it all solicited? Dugu Yun frowned slightly. If it had been in Dugu Yun's eyes before, this could not have been considered a big deal. At most, it was a matter of seeing the prey and enjoying it, and his love for talent was not a problem. However, just as he learned that his father had been poisoned for a long time, Dugu Yun couldn't help but become suspicious and said, there shouldn't be any major problem. After all, Ziang has assisted his father for decades. If there were any tricks, it would be impossible to hide them from the world like this. It's impossible to wait until now. Moreover, this Ziang has indeed devoted all his life to his father over the years, and he can truly be called a great talent. But the heart of defense is indispensable, first, closely monitor him for a period of time and remember not to be discovered. Yes. Upon receiving the order, Sun Masked and others nodded earnestly. Dugu Yun was just about to go back when he suddenly thought of something and called out Masayoshi, who was preparing to leave, let the network organization play its role. Immediately, Dugu Yun suddenly realized that in addition to their own strength, the trap organization's ability to collect intelligence was also extremely powerful. It should be noted that the responsibility of the network organization itself is to infiltrate and monitor the forces of the world, including all schools of thought. What is the function of itself? However, those who heard this, such as Masayoshi and others, were clearly stunned for a moment, I want no matter what wind or grass moves in this northern Liangcheng, I can't escape my eyes. Three thousand net assassins are more than enough to monitor Baoliang city. He wants to see who this so-dot called spy is. Yes, your highness. Upon hearing this, even though it was the most serious cover of the sun, their expressions became excited, which also proves that they were highly valued in his highness's heart. The startled salamander displayed a high fighting spirit, and the black and white Xianjian had a firm attitude of mission. Go ahead. Understood. Mask the sun and others left, and immediately disappeared in place. Previously, Dugu Yun deliberately let those three thousand trapped assassins infiltrate the northern Liang city in the form of refugees. Originally, they were just trying to cover up, 
but now it seems that they may have some miraculous effects. Who? Returning to the room, Dugu Yun calmed down and adjusted his complex emotions. I really didn't expect so many unexpected things to happen on this day, but now there's no need to dwell too much. In nearly ten years, I must grow rapidly. Sign in. Dugu Yun used the previously triggered check that I in opportunity and said, sign in successful. Obtain. A peak heavenly phenomenon master skill. Surprisingly, the one who checked in this time is a cultivation skill. The great master of peak astronomy. You should know that Dugu Yun is currently just like an ordinary person, with no cultivation or skill to speak of. This kind of attendance reward surprised Dugu Yun. After a brief overview of the system, the effect is very simple. After fusion, Dugu Yun can obtain all the skills of the peak heavenly phenomenon Grandmaster Realm, but similar to the Wudang sect's unique internal skill Dawanting, it is only internal skill strength. I still don't know any moves or techniques, but for Dugu Yun at present, it is already crucial. Fusion When even if fusion was chosen, with the fusion of the skills of the peak heavenly phenomenon master, Dugu Yun's robe began to move automatically without wind. Powerful skills stirred up gusts of wind in the room, and for a moment, the table and chair decorations were scattered, and the sound of ceramic objects breaking could not be ignored. He could clearly feel a powerful force surging out of his four limbs, and Dugu Yun's entire life became even more vigorous and powerful. Is this the great master of peak astronomy? Quickly, the fluctuation of his breath began to gradually calm down. He lifted his hands and could clearly feel that an unparalleled and powerful force had emerged from his body. Even he had an unprecedented level of confidence and pride. Fortunately, Dugu Yun's mood was firm enough and he was not momentarily overwhelmed by this powerful force, completely drifting away. He knew that compared to the true peak celestial phenomena master, Dugu Yun, who only possessed vast skills, still lacked combat experience and his combat moves were still poor. But even so, it is enough to deter Xiao Xiao. Perhaps most people would not have thought that Dugu Yun, as the son of the Northern Yang King, now has the power of the peak celestial phenomenon master. However, is this check that I in opportunity randomly refreshed? Taking advantage of this time, Dugu Yun roughly understood his system gold finger, which has simple functions such as checking in and receiving rewards, but this check that I in opportunity was randomly triggered, and the current frequency was too few, so Dugu Yun couldn't find any pattern. Crown Prince The next day Dugu Yun had just left the Northern Young Prince's mansion when Qingya walked over. Seeing this strange smile on his face, Dugu Yun felt a bit strange as Qingyao approached. But Qingyao smiled slightly and said, Crown Prince. The prince is worried that you have been away from Baoyang City for a long time and don't know much about this place. He specifically asked his subordinates to lead the way for the Crown Prince. This Qingyao is strong and not a dull person, but his personality may appear cold and unrestrained to outsiders. Dugu Yun was not surprised to be arranged like this. Then let's go. Coincidentally, Dugu Yun intended to take this opportunity to take a good look at the Northern Yang City, and he also had the intention to see if there were any restrictions on the triggering of this check that I in opportunity, and to see if going to some places could trigger the check that I in opportunity. Please, Crown Prince. With Dugu Yun's consent, Qingyao appeared even more cheerful, which was not surprising. After all, after experiencing the previous events, Qingyao felt Dugu Yun's profound and unfathomable nature, and even showed more respect for his own crown prince. Qingyao's absolute loyalty to the crown prince, who used to be just a servant, was also driven by a sense of faith and responsibility. However, now it is different. She truly admires the crown prince's skills and heritage from the bottom of her heart, believing that there is hope for a bright future in Baoyang. Please, crown prince. Qingyao greeted Dugu Yun and walked out of the palace. However, as he left, a figure that covered the sun suddenly appeared beside him. Your Highness. After all, he is under Dugu Yun's command, so don't worry. If Dugu Yun leaves alone, 
he naturally needs to take care of him. Let's go. End of this chapter. Chapter 9. The Prince. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 9 The Prince Dugu Yun naturally became accustomed to it, simply indicating that these characters summoned by the system were 100% loyal to Dugu Yun. As long as Dugu Yun gave a command, they would immediately die without complaint. I really didn't expect that in the ten years since I left, things have changed, and Baoyang City has a completely different appearance. Strolling from day to night, although one is a traveler, some of the original memories are still inherited. It is very clear that the former Baoyang City was not actually a bustling and prosperous place. On the contrary, it is located in the border area and is still a very cold place. But now, with the flourishing of merchants and the happiness of the people, there is a scene of prosperity and prosperity. Upon hearing Dugu Yun's lament, the green bird beside him also smiled and agreed, the success of Baoyang City today cannot be achieved without the credit of the prince. No matter how outsiders evaluate the king of Baoyang, for the people in Baoyang City, the kindness of the king of Baoyang is higher than heaven and deeper than the sea. In their minds, the prestige of the northern Yang king is even higher than that of the lord of the imperial city thousands of miles away. Because of the prince's years of hard work, the prosperity of Baoyang city has even surpassed that of the imperial city. Mmm. Dugu Yun nodded slightly and said that he had never been to the imperial city of the great Qian dynasty, however, the current Baoyang city can indeed be described as a prosperous and prosperous scene. Is the crown prince somewhat disappointed? Ching Yao was still very discerning. As he walked along the way, he could clearly see that although Dugu Yun occasionally sighed, there was no hint of joy in his eyes. Rather, he was somewhat disappointed. Mmm. There is no denying that Dugu Yun originally wanted to see if this extra step could trigger a check that I an opportunity. But after walking for a whole day, I have basically wandered around the North Liangcheng, but the system still hasn't heard any sound. How could I not be disappointed? Do we have to go to some designated places in the system to trigger the check that I an opportunity? I understand. However, seeing Dugu Yun like this, the green bird on the side laughed clearly, as if guessing why Dugu Yun was disappointed. What? Upon hearing this, Dugu Yun looked at Qing Yao in surprise, Got it. What do you understand now? Crown Prince, rest assured that this place will never disappoint you. Dot. What does it mean? Is there anything special about Baoyang City that I have overlooked? Originally, seeing that the sky was already dim, Dugu Yun had planned to return directly to the palace, but now it seems that he is not in a hurry either. Then let's go. Okay. With a mysterious smile, Ching Yao led the way for Dugu Yun. This is what you said, what won't disappoint me. In about fifteen minutes, Dugu Yun's footsteps stopped in front of a loft called Sue Yin Tower. Look at these beautiful and smiling girls who attract customers, as well as the countless young masters and beauties who come in and out with smiling faces, even if they haven't been here before, but Dugu Yun suddenly understood. Ching Lu. Ha. Why is the crown prince's reaction like this? Qing Yao felt very puzzled. Isn't this just being in favor of the crown prince? You may not know, crown prince. This Tsueyin Tower can definitely be considered one of the top brothels in our northern Yang city. Among them, the flower queen Yao Qing is absolutely breathtaking, with both talent and beauty. Worried that Dugu Yun wouldn't know, Qing Yao explained it deliberately, dot. Ching Yao, I usually see you being so cold and reserved in your behavior, being steady and decisive in your actions, and not being sarcastic. Why are you joking with me now? Ah. Uh. Seeing Dugu Yun's expression, Ching Yao frowned and her face instantly became a bit cold. Your Highness. Are you not interested anymore? She was originally disdainful of this but only because she knew about the crown prince's reputation for being promiscuous in the outside world and his love for flowers and willows, was she willing to take him to this place. After a moment of silence, 
Du Yun continued to walk towards Tsui Yin Tower. Well, whether it's maintaining my previous persona or feeling physically and mentally exhausted, if I want to relax, I have to go to this place today. Covering the sun like a guard, he didn't speak, but silently followed Du Yun's footsteps. Ah. Uh. Qing Yao was a bit dumbfounded, thinking that the crown prince was dissatisfied. Now it seems that he has really been worried too much. I think so. Let's say it's because it's my first time here, I'm not familiar with it. Qing Yao thought to herself and quickly followed suit. Crown Prince. How is this place? In the elegant room on the second floor, Qing Yao poured a glass of wine for Du Yun and Mu Ri respectively, but Mu Ri ignored it. Mr. Mask's son, won't you have some to drink? Although he had never demonstrated his strength and means to cover the sun from beginning to end, he was still under the command of Du Yun, and Qing Yao was still in awe. Your Highness' safety is the most important. Drinking alcohol and causing trouble is the concept of concealing the sun. There is nothing more important than protecting Du Yun comprehensively. This. Upon hearing these words, Qing Yao was speechless for a moment, and her loyalty to this point made her feel somewhat inferior. It's rare to come out and have a drink. Knowing the loyalty of covering the sun, I have walked all the way today without saying a word, silently guarding the side. Such a loyal and reliable guardian still needs to be considerate. Speaking, Du Yun picked up a wine jug and poured a glass to cover the sun. I'm afraid. Seeing Du Yun pouring wine for himself, he quickly tried to stop him, with a sense of hierarchy in order. This move is absolutely unacceptable. However, without waiting for the sun to cover up and speak more, Du Yun interrupted, drink with peace of mind, how dare you disobey my words. Even though they are absolutely loyal subordinates, occasional gifts can also create some unique emotions for people like Masayoshi. Moreover, Du Yun himself is easygoing, like Dugu Xiaolong, without the airs of a superior. Looking at the filled glass in front of me, my heart, which was hiding the sun, felt a burst of heat. I will swear to protect your highness to the death. Dugu Yun just nodded slightly. The blue bird on the side, seeing this behind the scenes, had complex emotions and didn't know what was on its mind. Fortunately, Dugu Yun's next words interrupted Qing Yao's thoughts. Where is the flower queen Yao Qing from Tsui Yin Tower? I want to see her. Crown Prince, you don't know anything. Upon hearing these words, Qing Yao immediately answered, as the flower leader, Yao Qing only occasionally appears. Usually, she closes her door to Greek guests. I see. Du Yun understood, after all, as the leader of the brothel, the flower queen naturally wouldn't frequently appear in public like other courtesans. Crown Prince, there's something you may not have heard of. Thinking of some interesting stories she had heard before, Qing Yao poured wine for Du Yun and smiled slightly. I heard that the flower queen Yao Qing has already secretly agreed to her. Du Yun took the opportunity to look at her. And, Crown Prince, you can never imagine who this person is. Du Yun didn't answer and gestured for her to continue speaking. This person is the second prince of the Great Qian Dynasty, Yuan Huan. Although Emperor Yuan Tiangang of the Great Qian had many descendants, it is well known that the only ones with the greatest ability to compete for the position of crown prince were the first prince Yuan Huang and the second prince Yuan Huan. How dare the prince come to this northern Liang city? Are you okay? Do you know that the forces of Baoyang and the Great Qian Dynasty have already been on par, with swords and crossbows drawn? It's better to say that it's because of relying on the prince's identity that I dare to drive. End of this chapter Chapter 10 Clash You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 10 Clash The meaning of Du Yun is naturally understood by Qing Yao. Countless people in the front and back palaces of the Dechian Emperor's court regarded us as a thorn in the flesh and a thorn in the eye, dreaming of constantly tracking the whereabouts of our prince. However, sending our own legitimate subordinates directly to come is obviously a bit too high. Profile. 
They dare to say such things, so arrogant and domineering that they cannot even step into the territory of Baileyang, and naturally someone will kill them. But if it were the prince, Dugu Xiaolong would have some reservations to some extent, and he wouldn't have directly attacked the assassin. I see. Dugu Yun suddenly understood that there was such a stake involved, but. I came to monitor my father, but I didn't expect to win the heart of a flower queen. This second prince seems a bit interesting, and I'm quite interested. Dugu Yun didn't pay much attention to what he said, and his words were filled with disdain for the second prince Yuan Huan, as if he didn't have the qualifications to make Dugu Yun pay attention. Huh, destined people. However, as soon as these words were spoken, a crisp and loud laughter came from outside the elegant room. I have long admired the great name of the Prince of Northern Liang. I long to see him one day. Following the sound, a man dressed in elegant and luxurious attire, with a face like a crown of jade and eyes like a bright star, stepped into the elegant room step by step, followed by an old man guarding his left and right. Upon hearing the return of the Prince of Northern Liang, Xia Yuanhuan, came uninvited. Please do not blame me. Obviously, this person was the second prince of the Dechen dynasty. Yuan Huan, on the other hand, was a very open dot minded and generous person who sat cross legged in front of him without any restraint. Ah! Yuan Huan's sudden appearance caught Qing Yao off guard. As for covering the sun, he frowned and stared fixedly at the old man following Yuan Huan's side. It's my honor for His Highness the Second Prince to come here, how dare I blame him. Yuan Huan's sudden appearance, even though it was Dugu Yun, was somewhat unexpected, but he quickly calmed down. Wave your hand casually at Qing Yao and say, pour the wine. Yes, Crown Prince. Qing Yao calmly responded and poured wine for the Second Prince Yuan Huan. Ha ha. I have long heard that the Crown Prince of Northern Liang has a dignified demeanor and an extraordinary temperament. Seeing him today, he truly deserves his reputation. No matter what Yuan Huan's true thoughts are, at least on the surface, he still looks like a humble gentleman. Instead, he lifted his glass and made a toast to Dugu Yun. Come on. I'll toast you. Dugu Yun didn't hold any airs and returned with a toast, however, as soon as he put down his wine glass, Dugu Yun smiled slightly and said, Second Prince, is this trip to take my life? Dot. As soon as these words were spoken, the atmosphere in the elegant room instantly solidified, and Qing Yao also held his sword with one hand, feeling more guarded in his heart. As for covering the sun, his gaze was fixed on the old man beside Yuan Huan from beginning to end, ensuring that he would take immediate action at a critical moment when the crown prince's life was threatened. Why did the crown prince say this? Yuan Huan just put down his glass, paused slightly, and then seemed to hear some joke, his expression overjoyed. He <laughs> he. Your Highness, have you heard of Zong Twelve Demons staying overnight? With a shrug of his shoulders, Dugu Yun seemed oblivious to the rising atmosphere of killing intent in the elegant room, and still spoke lightly. Hmm. The crown prince is talking about the Night Zong sect. Didn't that be eradicated decades ago? I don't know why he mentioned them. Yuan Huan's calm smile. Perhaps. Dugu Yun's mouth curved slightly as he suddenly changed the topic. Your Majesty's plan has fallen through, and I will safely return to Northern Liang. Is it difficult for me to succeed? Will Your Majesty really give up on releasing tigers back to the mountains? There were some things that Dugu Yun knew well. Perhaps he didn't speculate too much at first, but the second Prince Yuan Huan came to Baoyang City at this critical time and specifically visited him. Is it a coincidence? He <laughs> he, it's just a joke. Anything in this world that coincides to the point of absurdity means there will always be artificial arrangements, even schemes and conspiracies behind it. If everything goes well, Your Highness, if you can personally nip the future calamity of my empire, you will receive great appreciation from His Majesty the Emperor. Speaking of this, Dugu Yun felt as if he had just realized it, analyzing it on his own. No. Second Prince, after all, 
you are not the future heir of the great Qian dynasty. After all, your eldest son Yuan Huang still exists. Will he stand idly by and make such a great contribution to you? So. Speaking of this, Du Yun paused slightly and looked at Yuan Huan in front of him with great interest. His eyes met him sharply. If I'm not mistaken, which of you two can win this credit? The position of the heir will be in your pocket, right? Ha ha ha. Ye Jian suddenly fell into a deathly silence. After a moment, the second prince Yuan Huan suddenly began to clap and laugh. Smart. Smart. Truly worthy of being the crown prince of northern Luyang, with extraordinary cunning. No wonder the twelve devils of Yizong will miss out. It is indeed within my expectations. Deny it. Why deny it? Yuan Huan had never thought about it before coming, nor dared he think about being able to hide it from this intelligent prince, otherwise he would cover it up and make people laugh. As for Du Yun, after seeing Yuan Huan's reaction, he was not surprised and poured himself a glass of wine with a faint smile. Although the second prince appears humble and polite on the surface, his arrogance in his heart cannot be concealed. He is probably an extremely confident person. Even though Yuan Huan didn't seem to show any visible beauty on the surface, Du Yun could sense the arrogance and ambition in Yuan Huan's fiery gaze. Why is it said to be extremely confident? Isn't that reasonable? Yuan Huan waved his hand and said confidently, when I become the crown prince and ascend to the throne as emperor, everything in the world will be in my pocket. Isn't all of this reasonable? With a firm tone, it is not difficult to see that Yuan Huan is absolutely confident in his own abilities. Even with the presence of the eldest prince Yuan Huang, Yuan Huan still believes that he is not a big concern, and the ultimate winner is undoubtedly himself. I don't know why the second prince came to visit me in person. If he wanted to take my life, why did he have to personally come and visit me? Isn't this extremely dangerous? I expect your highness, the second prince, your own strength and cultivation are only so good. I was originally filled with many wild thoughts and speculations about the crown prince of Baileyang, whether you were the kind of promiscuous and playboy rumored by the outside world, but now, I have an answer in my heart. After learning about the order given by his father, Yuan Huan's first thought was not really to attack Du Yun and become the crown prince's heir, but rather to see such a talented person. That's also why Yuan Huan came to Baileyang City regardless of his own safety and appeared in front of Du Yun. Let's work together. He no longer concealed his true intentions, but instead looked at Du Yun with a burning gaze. Joining hands. The open and secret struggles between the Dechien dynasty and the Northern Liang forces are well dot known, and the direct descendants of both sides have chosen to cooperate. This kind of thing is really unbelievable. That's right. It's just a collaboration. Yuan Huan did not deny it and said with utmost sincerity, I will help you ascend to the throne of Baileyang, and you will help me secure the throne of the great Qian dynasty. Speaking, Yuan Huan stood up immediately, with our joint efforts, we can never continue to expand our territory and achieve the unparalleled achievements of our ancestors. How about it? The world of foreign lands is extremely vast, and the land on the sea urgently needs to be expanded. The conquest of the magnificent Tianwei of the great Qian dynasty should not stop here. End of this chapter